Hey everybody, it's Shane Bishop and Street Sweeper here, back with another review for you. Uh, oh yeah, we're disassembled articulation, by the way. And uh, today we're going to review the Batman Zero Year figures that have been released. We've got the Greg Capullo sculpt figure that came out, uh, when did this come out? Last year, dude? Yeah. Yeah, sometime last year, uh, released by DC Comics. And then we have the... Uh, <clears throat> the other one, the Batman Zero Year, from the recently released DC Comics Multiverse. Um, they both look real similar to me, but let's uh, go ahead and bust them out of the package and see what they look like. So here's the Greg Capullo Batman Zero Year figure. Um, as you can see, it's in the standard DC, what is it, DC Collectibles? Yeah, uh, box that it would be in. Uh, everyone's familiar with this. You've got your window, you can see him, it says Batman Zero Year right there. Um, look at the side, there's a little bit of art there, that's cool. And then the back, we'll just show you the other figures that are in this series. And then on the top, it, it's got the bat symbol, it says Greg Capullo. Um, let's go ahead and bust this out of the box. Here we are with the Greg Capullo Zero Year Batman. Um, out the package. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and look at his accessories real quick since there's a few. Uh, he's got one right hand that he can use these little tiny baby batarangs with that are probably going to get lost. And um, this little grapple gun that fits right in this hand. But uh, it looks cool. Um, our <clears throat> with this figure and like any other figures from the same series um uh, i think they're awesome you know they're not super articulated but and not super super detailed but they're detailed enough and the the detail and the paint on them are are really nice um as you can see you know he's got <clears throat> you know gray and black a lot of different spots where they had to take some time painting this figure um and not really just blow through it like they do with a lot of them. Um, granted, they did. But still, it, the time slowed down for this figure. Um, and one thing that you won't be able to notice, but I can see really well. And if you've picked up these figures before, maybe you've noticed this also. They almost look like they're hand-painted. To me, it looks like they used uh, some model paints and painted this figure. I think it looks really cool. Um... The paint just seems a lot thicker than what you would see on um, like a Hasbro figure or something like that. Um, and then you have, you know, his face. His face looks awesome. Like the detail in it, you know, there's not a whole lot, but you've got the two different colors. His lips are painted a different color than the rest of his face, and sometimes you don't um, get that kind of detail in a figure. Uh, the... The belt is probably the only thing that I have a problem with. I don't really care for how they really didn't put a whole lot of definition into the belt. And uh, it just looks kind of, doesn't look as sharp as I feel it should look. Um, but that's my personal opinion. Again, who am I? Let's see how tall he is. Should stand at about six inches, six and a half inches, maybe. Where is he standing? Seven. Look seven inches. Okay. Yeah, they're seven inch figures. They're not six inches. Really? Yeah. Oh, I never knew that. All right. So they're seven inch. Seven inch tall. Awesome paint. Here's the back. I don't know what's going on with this cape. I didn't read the comic. I don't know much about this Batman. Do you know what's going on with this cape? Nope. Okay. We don't know what's going on with Cape. It's kind of goofy, but it's... I don't know. It's kind of rad at the same time. Alright, so let's go over the uh, articulation on this figure to get that out of the way. Okay, so his head... These don't have a lot of head, head movement. You can turn sideways. And you can look up a little bit and down a little bit. His arm... Oh, dude, it broke. 
<laughs> he's got a little bit of a shoulder movement, bicep swivel. He's got a little bit of elbow articulation, not a double elbow joint. <clears throat> His wrist just twists around and around and around. Um, he's got a nab crunch. Ab crunch and he twists at the waist right above his belt <clears throat> um he's got a thigh swivel his thighs don't move or his legs don't move outward at all they only move forward and backward just like most of your um dc collectible figures um he does have a double knee joint however which was surprising but <clears throat> there's his double knee joint uh He's got awesome ankle articulation and it pivots. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It doesn't go as many directions as I thought it did. But yeah, so it goes like that. So you're pretty limited in your articulation there with this figure, um, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at the multiverse. So here we got the Zero Year Batman from the DC Comics Multiverse series. Uh, he doesn't come with any accessories, as you can kind of tell if you're looking through the window there. Uh, he does come with the, I believe, right leg to the Justice Buster. And if you've seen the Justice Buster, maybe you're like me and you're not too thrilled with it. So I'm not trying to build it, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we're going to worry about the figure. So... Alright, you saw the front, you got a little picture of Batman there, it says some stuff about him. Not too much, nothing on that side, a little image of Batman there. DC Comics Multiverse, there's your back, it shows the other figures from the line, and your Justice Buster. And nothing on the bottom, so let's go ahead and take out the package. Alright, so here we got the Zero Year Batman from the Multiverse line. Um, he's pretty cool. Uh, the sculpt's cool. The sculpt's way cool. He's got these pretty gnarly boots on, and they sculpted that in there really well. They did that also with the other one, but uh, I see. I just feel like I like it more with on this one. Um, all right, so then you have his belt and his pouches. They're all sculpted on there. This is a, a r rubber piece that they actually put between the upper torso and the lower torso. Uh, Probably so it moved with the lower part of his body. Um, the paint's okay on this. Um, it's just gray. And they painted on some black. Um, and purple for the gloves. And the like I said, this is another piece. So it was painted separately. The bat symbol's okay. I mean, there's a little bit of a overspray on it that I can see. Um, uh... The face, there's no different tones going on between the mouth and the rest of the face. It's just all one flesh tone. And the eyes are just white, but they are in the other one also. Like most Batman figures are just white. But it looks okay. Um, I said he has no accessories initially, but I was wrong. He comes with the small... Or sorry, what I keep saying small. It comes with a grapple gun. And uh, it doesn't, you know, the hand's goofy. Can you get that? It's probably best to just keep it in his pocket. Or, sorry, in the holster. Um, let's go over the articulation of this thing. Okay, so uh, his head doesn't move up very much or down very much. Much like the other one. It does move left and right. Um, shoulder goes up about that high. He's got bicep swivel. He's got one puny elbow joint, and his wrist just twists. And uh, actually, it's got a little bit of articulation there. Um, it's got an ab crunch. Pretty good. Um, and I've showed you that already. Where he twists there. Um, the legs cut not up in the upper thigh and lower right above the knee. It swivels. 
Um, and then he doesn't have a double knee joint, just single knee joint. And then uh, his, you know, knee pad kind of sticks out. Kind of goofy. But it is what it is. So both limited articulation, but uh, pretty cool figures. All right, so let's compare the two together. So right here you can see the differences. They're not very big differences between the two. Um, the multiverse one is a little bit taller. Uh, the paint's not as good as the DC collectibles, in my opinion. Uh, the sculpt on the boots, I think, is great on the two of them. Um, this one does come with the... Uh, the accessories and the alternate hand so you can actually hold his gun properly and this one's kind of goofy there are two of them standing side by side probably at about six and a half seven inches tall and there you have it uh, let's go ahead and compare the capes and again I don't know why this capes like this Maybe somebody can leave it in the comments and tell me why the cape's like that. But maybe that's just part of the sculpt. But the split in the middle is kind of funny and different. So I'm curious about that. But uh, anyway, I think that's about it for these two figures. Alright, Shane Bishop, Street Sweeper behind the camera as usual. This is Disassembled Articulation. Um, please please go and look at one of these other videos we've got this awesome Bruce Lee one here and then this really cool Venom one here and um, like subscribe share all that fun social media stuff do it uh, again this is Shane Bishop Street Sweeper Dissembled Articulation signing out later Thank you.